Meg's furious meltdown as Beulah founder congratulated Catherine becoming an ambassador for three famous brands. Catherine, the Princess of Wales, is a powerful fashion influencer, demonstrated by the fact that her outfits often sell out within minutes. The princess has even been known to wear outfits from past seasons, so this can no longer happen. British labels are undoubtedly thrilled whenever Kate champions their clothes, as their success likely depends on members of the royal family wearing their designs. One such British brand that Kate loves is Alexander McQueen, which she first wore for a wedding day on April 29th, 2011. Earlier this year, the princess impressed royal watchers with a beautiful Alexander McQueen number at the BAFTA Film Awards 2023 at the Royal Festival Hall. British fashion watchers are undoubtedly thrilled that Kate has maintained a positive relationship with McQueen throughout her years as a working royal. Another British brand loved by Kate is Beulah London, which she's worn on numerous occasions. Beulah is renowned for perfectly tailored outfits, which add a certain level of sophistication to Kate's outfits. The Beulah co-founder, Natasha Rufus Isaacs, told Mary Claire about Kate. She's a wonderful ambassador for British fashion, and her support definitely raises awareness and recognition of the brand. Just recently, Kate wore a £550 baby blue midi dress from Beulah London at the Guards Polo Club. Kate also loves to wear Princess Diana's beloved designer Catherine Walker, who designed the cobalt blue coat dress she wore on Easter Sunday this year. The princess additionally enjoys wearing Amelia Wickstead, famous for its classic feminine silhouettes. Kate looked radiant in a custom Amelia Wickstead yellow dress as she joined William and other senior royals at the service of Thanksgiving at St Paul's Cathedral in June of 2022. Choosing a British designer for this occasion spoke volumes about Kate's passion for the country. The Kate effect basically describes the Princess of Wales' style on retail. What she's photographed in tends to sell out quickly. Meanwhile, Meghan Markle is considered the woman copying Kate's style the most. Only super tall, thin and young people can get away with wearing this. Meghan wanted to stand out, cause discussion, as we talk about her outfit. She's so vacuous, living a life really doing nothing but obsessively getting articles written about her. A royal fan commented on social media this, I remember the wonderful Earthshot Prize that the Waleses launched in Boston. It was an excellent achievement for an extremely important environmental issue. Princess Catherine of Wales looked absolutely incredible in that beautiful green dress and set an excellent environmentally friendly example by hiring it. She's always so incredibly stylish. She does have excellent taste, but she also engages a wonderfully talented professional stylists. And goodness does it show. No wonder anything she touches sells out within minutes. I just remember the coverage of Catherine, the helicopter buzzing over the excited crowds rushing to get a glimpse of her, and she generously gave a lot more time. The reporters described it as a once-in-a-lifetime chance to get a glimpse of Catherine. Meghan and Harry, on the other hand, have sold out their well-private parts to the highest bidder, and with it, all of their dignity as well. The public has kind of heard and seen what they've got, now it's getting awkward. Any residual sheen of reflected glory has well and truly fallen off. Any pretenses of royalty like the H&M chairs in Montecito now seem a touch embarrassing. Another one said, Princess Catherine, lovely as always, she never lets us down. One has class, charm, and carries out her royal duties graciously. The other is nothing of worth now.